I'm recording. Oh. oh. Two of 100% success. We don't have a name yet for the show, oh, yeah, but if I'm really you're on that. Instagram, um, have a look at our video up from this week. Yeah, do that. We are trying to think of a name. These are supposed to be anti fog, Chris, but I am getting steamier and steamier. Good. I can't really hear what I'm saying. Yeah. Am I loud enough? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Chris has agreed that this week I can choose an item from our stash. So I did. we do actually already have quite a few bits that we've found along the months and I've picked something I'm sure I'll get it now. Oh I'll wait here and fill some time. I'll wait here and fill some time. Fill go for a skip. Ah oh, wow. Yeah nice. so I got this chair yeah. for free. Oh I got this one from marketplace and I think we can do something fabulous yes, with it. Yes we can. Or yeah you can come and have a look at what's in my car. <gasps> There's something in the car. And there's always something in my car. Okay, well, deal or no deal, we'll have to go and look in the car. <gasps> oh. oh! Yes! <laughs> Christopher, where did oh. you find that? Where did you find that? In a skip. Yes, let's do that this week. Sod the chair. 100% success. I love it. Great. I absolutely love it. Sorry, chair. Bye, white, weird, one leg, pink chair. She'll be back. Yeah, it won't be if I burn it and put it in a skip, but I'll refind it again to skip. Let me try it out. Yeah. Oh, it's not for adult bums. Mm, right. It's very <laughs> small. I'm stuck. No, that's no. not for adults. So I'm thinking. Yeah. Kids' room. Sure. Little chair in the room, mm -hmm. nice cushion at the back. Yeah. Oh. Chalkboard on the back, mm -hmm. arts and crafty compartments. Yeah. Bits and bobs. Great. And somehow maybe turn this bit here into like a table. Sure, sounds good. Elliot wants her room redecorated next year. Well, sure. I've told her next year. She wants room redecorated, she wants purple. So I think I'm going to do this up to go in her room as a little, yeah, a crafty box seat. Thing. Crafty box. Crafty mm -hmm. box. I'm a crafty box. You're gonna take all this off. No, that's not, that's the best bit. Is it? It's falling apart. I think this is really cool. Red and then if she you know everything. if she wants to go and do some colouring somewhere else, she can just pick up her little thing. She probably can't pick this up, but I can pick up her little thing, <laughs> take it off for her. It's gonna be filled with stuff as well, though. It's gonna be filled with that. stuff, yeah. Okay. Right. So you're going to come back in a few days to see what I've done with it then? Absolutely. 100% okay. success. That is not our catchphrase. That is my catchphrase. It, why? Right. 100% success. I'm going to get to work then. I'm going to put that on the t-shirt. See you later. This is a really fun project. Doing this up is going to give me the first ideas for Elliot's room, which is going to get redecorated in March for her birthday. Now, I last redecorated it when she was three and it's kind of pastel pinks and um, rainbows. But she's outgrown it really quickly. So I'm hoping that this time, it might last her uh, more than two years. She'll be five in March. Um, so, you know, a little, she absolutely loves coloring and drawing and all that kind of stuff. So having a little arts and crafts hidden table that she can play on in her bedroom, that's a chair for the rest of the time is gonna be great. Um, so I've just done a little test to see if I can sand off the paint. I've taken the top off, um, which I'm going to work on separately. Um, but for the base, I've done a little test on the sander. It's going to take me an age to sand it. So I'm going to do a little test area to see if my paint stripper will work a bit better. Because ideally, on this part, I definitely don't want to sand it, but all this paint needs to come off. It's all cracked and chipped. And if I paint over it, it's just not going to be a good finish. minutes i should be wearing a mask i want to find a mask for when i take it off um my dad's just coming and put the top of dryer on so i'm gonna let that do its thing and i'll come back to you when that's finished so you can actually hear me so unfortunately i couldn't get 
the um, paint stripper to work. I think it's just too cold in my garage. I'm absolutely freezing. Um, so I went in with the sander. I'm going to show you that. I've done my best. Um, I've got as much of it, much of the paint off as I can. And I'm going to, that's the fun bit, I'm going to get it all cleaned up and get a lick of paint on it. So for the inside, I'm going to go purple. For the exterior, I'm going to go kind of a pebbly grey. Oh, can you see here the original paint? It's got gold to it. I don't know if you can see. Anyway, I've got a pot of Damson from Craig and Rose and I'm just mixing that with a bit of this sort of pebble colour to line it up a bit. That's what's going to be on the inside. So, I'm going to get cracking. Oh, can you see how cold it is? Freezing. Alright, so while I'm waiting for the paint to dry, um, I want to start trying to figure out what size I need to make my inserts. Um, I think I'm going to make nine compartments. Looking at the size of it, I think that would be good. And I don't want them to come all the way to the top of the box because I want it to be able to put bits of, like paper, pads of paper on top of the bits. Um, but I need to figure out if I've actually got enough wood to do this. So, what am I going to need? I'm going to need a pen. I'm going to need two long pieces and each of them will need to have two slits in and then I'll need three smaller pieces hang on hang on cogs turning ok well let's get some dimensions up here so I'm just going to measure my box first of all I've got to find a tape measure why is there never anything when I need it so that is exactly 18 inches okay so this has to be 18 inches okay is that divisible by three it is because six inches so oh no but look Look at that in a minute. Look at maths at all. These need to be 14 inches. Okay, so now let's have a look if we've even got enough wood. See, I think this, I think this is too thick. Because, I mean, you don't, well, I suppose it'd be okay. That'd be fine. We'll just use this. Cut all my pieces, and two of them, put my little slots in. This is a bit of a faff with no actual tools, so you know, it's gonna work, guys. Okay, so while all that paint and sawdust is drying and settling, I've moved it into the studio um, to do the fabric part, so I want to create the cushion. Um, so I've stripped the cushion taken all the pins out all the staples um, taking all the old fabric off and this is the bones of the cushion so I've got this um, woolen pad and then the base and I'm gonna keep the woolen pad it's in good condition it looks like it'll be fine I'm gonna put a layer I've got recycled um, wadding recycled plastic wadding I'm gonna put a layer of that over the top and then I'm going to use this piece of vintage fabric that I found in my stash, which I just think is gorgeous, absolutely lovely. And then I can pick the colours from here out for the room uh, when I do it. So I'm just going to use the old bit of fabric to cut round and make a new cushion. Well, it's not the best upholstery job I've ever done, but that was really painful. Yeah. The staple gun's broken, so that would made it more difficult. But now I need to get a bit of trim to put the whole way around, and then it'll be ready to be reattached to the base. So I glued some ribbon around the edge, but I, was, I just wasn't happy with how it was looking. So I've got some t-shirt yarn, and I'm just sewing it on as a trim. Um, and I really like it now. It almost went in the bin, but I'm happy with it now. So all I'm doing is literally making a loop with my t-shirt yarn. 
popping my needle through the top and then attaching it to the seat. It's a bit of a faff but it looks much better now. Not every um, upcycle is a success from start to finish. Um, I've made a catastrophic error in that I didn't consider how I'm going to get my compartments actually into the box because there's a rim at the top of the box. Um, the tumble dryer's on, that's why I can't take you in there to show you because it's too loud. Yeah, I need to go figure out how to fix this now. Yes, I did it. Brute force, sheer determination, it's in. It's got to get painted now, and then I've got to create. I want Elliot to be able to work on the top, so I've got to create a worktop and um, a chalkboard on the inside of the lid. Now I've got a big old piece of chalkboard that used to be in the shop. I'm gonna cut. And it's all got to be ready for two o'clock when Chris gets here. So if you could dry, please dry, come on. Painting in the cold doesn't work. I have taken on board my trusty hair dryer and I think I'm nearly there. Got about half an hour till Chris gets here. And I just want to add some ribbon trim to the top of my um, compartments. I'm just going to safety pin them in and they're going to look cute. And I think that's it. Attach the lid. I might add a little gold trim to give it a shout back to its original gold underneath. And then I need to wax it. I've got an hour. Get the wax, get the wax. Ah, hello, that nearly hit me in the face. I have not enjoyed this upside. Why? It's taken me so long. You love doing this sort of stuff. There's so many dramas. Why are you so sad? And it's still what happened? It's, it still needs work. I'll Ooh. tell you what happened. Right. I'll tell you what happened. So I went to B&Q today to get the hinges. Yeah. I've put them on yeah. and I've de-headed all the screws because my screwdriver's broken, my drill's broken, right. my staple gun's broken. We need a sponsor. I think we need a gin sponsor to be quite honest after all this mess. Okay, here we go. All I heard there was you muttering the word trauma. <laughs> that looks good. Yeah. Well, yeah. What's, yeah. yeah. Why have okay. you had so much trauma so, with it? Well, so basically, I, when I attached the trim to the cushion, it looked yeah. rubbish. So oh. lift, lift the um, lift it up. Oh, you paint the feet as well. Yeah. So oh, chalkboard. Chalkboard. Right. Take take the top bit out. Take the top bit out. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's all like sectioned in between. Yeah. This bit comes off. Okay. So basically, what happened, good inside. Yeah, but what happened was I built it all yeah. and then I couldn't get it in. Oh crap, did you not want to build it inside? No. Oh. So we hope you've enjoyed this week's episode. Please like and subscribe on YouTube or follow us on Instagram at TenaciouslyShe. And hopefully next week's project will be a little bit less stressful. It won't. What? Mm. What?